Hi guys, it's me. I'm back. Um, editing you and is here. I'm sorry kung di ako tuloy tuloy mag-upload ng video. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff, both emotionally, mentally, and physically. Well, I just finished editing one of my videos, and this video is one of the things that I wanted to do for my channel for a long time na. So, nung nagsisimula nga ako, naisip ko kung paano kong papakilala sa inyo. Should I do 50 facts about me or a Q&A? And then, nakita ko ito sa mga K-pop idols where they self-interview themselves. Una ko itong nakita kay Wasa, then, sabi ba itong nakita kay Yuna nung pinapromote niya yung um, I'm Not Cool. And then, yun, naisip ko lang pero ang creative niya and it's nice to introduce myself in that way. So yun, um, mag-recreate activity na self-introduction sa school. And parang yun lang din yung naging way ko para gawin to. Excuse ko lang yun para gawin to na, na video na to. And dati kasi more on essay type lang kami magpapakilala. And this time, first time namin, namin magkaroon ng self-introduction na video type. So parang yan, tolong natin to. So this is just a school project ha. And uh, like, the whole duration of the interview was like 9 minutes. And sinan ko lang kay sir was 2 minutes lang kasi masyad tayong papibo. And if you think that I'm a bit narcissist and obnoxious during the event, isipin nyo lang na this is just for project purposes. And um, although medyo narcissist naman talaga ako. Um, although medyo narcissist nga ako. Um, nakaka-cringe yung tuloy yung ibang tanong doon, but I think it's a must. So that I could introduce myself better. Enjoy the video. And also, huwag nyo nang pakalaman yung editing ko. Hindi ko na siya masyadong inayos kasi nga it's just for school project. And, ayun, medyo hindi malinis yung kaya-edit ko doon sa video. So, sorry. Nyongaseyo. This is Hubes and welcome to Short Review. Today we are going to meet one of the famous students from Bachelor of Performing Arts Theater, Tubi. Hi, um, hello, I'm Yuan Mendes. Oh, I'm a big fan of yours. Matagal na kitang gusto mo feature to the channel ko. Aww. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here on your show. I'm very happy that you came. Well, this time we are going to know you more. So you have three names, diba? Um, can you tell us about the origins of your names? Well, my full name is Yuan Miguel Ramses B. Mendez. Um, Yuan was supposed to be Juan, pero para daw yun ipakinggan, ginawa nilang Yuan. Miguel naman comes from my great-grandmother. From my mother's side, her name is Lola Miguela. Ramses naman came from two of my great-grandfathers. From my father's side naman. Um, their names are Lolo Ramon and Lolo Francisco. So that was the origin of my names. Ang haba ng name mo. <laughs> Hindi pa nakakailang nung una kasi ang haba ng pangalan mo. Well, nung una it was a bit hard kasi during NKI or not, kulang palagi ng isang box yung yung finifil outan. So palagi siyang Yuan Miguel Ramsey lang. <laughs> But ayun, isa pa kasi, nung bata tayo, siya pinakatawal magsulat. And ako kasi pa nagsusulat, malaki kasi yung sulat kamay ko. So, pangalan ko pa lang, puno na agad yung papel sa taas na part. Dati nila left out ko yung Ramses na name ko kasi ang haba na nga. But one time, sinabihan ako na ni mama na isama ko pa rin yung Ramses since name ko siya. And nakasanayan ko na rin naman through time. And ngayon actually, mas naiinis ako ko sa mga taong hindi nila kinakomplete yung pangalan ko. Kung Yuan Mendez, um, okay lang sa akin. But kung Yuan Miguel Mendez, parang nakakainis lang kasi konti na lang, dapat kinakomplete na nila, diba? So, ayun lang. Y y yun lang naman. Totoo naman. And actually, ang unique nga ng names mo eh. Ilang taon ka na nga ngayon? 
I'm 19 years old. I'll be turning 20 this December. Ooh, so nasa legal age ka na. Yes, and I'm also a registered voter na ngayong um, darating na election. So guys, uh, magparehistro na kayo. Well, can you tell us about your family? Well, my dad is actually in Manila. Um, Doon siya nagtatrabaho and hindi siya makauwi pa since ECQ pa rin sa kanila. Dito naman sa bahay, um, we have mom. She's a housewife. I have two other siblings. Um, yung pangalay namin is a fourth year animation student. Yung bunso naman namin is a an incoming grade 5 pupil. So, sa inyong tatlong magkakapatid, pangalawa ka, mabuhay ang mga second child. True. Hmm. So, since start na nga ng online class nyo ngayon, what are the things that you usually do when you have free time or kung gusto mo pawala ng stress? Well, watching K-dramas talaga and eating, eating a lot para maalis yung stress and to also waste time, I guess. Bihira din naman kasi talaga magka-free time kasi medyo tambak talaga yung gawain. And kahit hindi siguro tambak, pag may mga performance tasks kasi sa amin or iniiwang activities, I tried my best to give all of my effort during that um, activity. So very my effort also mga activities. Kaya hindi din talaga nagkakaroon ng extra time. But may times din naman na kahit tambak yung gawain. And tinutulugan ko lang. Oo naman, it's okay to take a rest and set aside your academic activities for a while and i-prioritize natin yung ating mental health. I've seen some of your photos and they're very unique, I would say. I love taking self-portrait shots a lot and um, editing it in a weird way. Feeling ko mas dun ko na lalabas yung pagiging creative ko sa pag-edit ng mga photos ko. And also, parang based din kasi yung mga ini-edit ko sa mga napapanaginipan kong mga medyo weird na stuff. Well, recently, you haven't been uploading your self-portrait shots. Yes, aside sa busy sa online class, wala din ako masyadong inspiration masyado. Um, siguro kasi drain na drain din yung creative juice ko. Well, gaya nga nang sabi ko, it's always okay to take a rest and to don't mind all your academics for a while and do your things at your own pace. Well, do you have any talents? Um, I can't sing. I love K-pop, but I can't dance. I can do TikToks though. Kumembot ka ngayon. Kembot. Ate? Mga ganun-ganun lang. Patingin mga ganun-ganun lang. Bigyan mo ko na ganun. Dali, patingin. Siguro, eating and sleeping. Oh, dyan ako magaling. If it's considered as a talent. Well, you've mentioned that you love K-pop. Do you have any specific group that you stan? Got seven, always and forever. Oh, that's the standards, mo, I love that. Um, do you have any sports? No, that day, naglalaro ko ng badminton, but nagstop na rin ako. O nagkarate din ako, but yun nagstop din ako. Feeling ko kasi sports isn't really my thing. Yung mga physical activity, kahit nga siguro mga mind games like chess. Although alam ko naman yung mga um galaw ng mga chess pieces but yung strategy kasi doon di ba yun yung mahirap so I guess sports isn't really my thing although it's a matter of preferences din naman siguro well since you've mentioned about preferences we'll get to know you more based on your preferences okay since you don't have any sport I'm assuming that you like online video games well, I do. Um, bata pa lang kami. Um, we have this PlayStation and we usually play Tekken 3 and the Mortal Kombat. And then, nagkaroon din kami ng PSP noon. Um, we usually play Tekken 5, Tekken 6, Sims 2, yung, yung shipwreck sila. We also have a yung laptop ni Mama. We usually play Plants vs. Zombies and yung Sims. Then, 
early days of Facebook, diyan na yung mga online games talaga na Cityville, Farmville, um, Miss Crits of Sunfall Kingdom, yun, mga Tetris, even Tetris. Usually, yung mga type kong games is arcade games, um, gagawa ka ng sarili mong community or civilization, also adventure games, mga ganun. Nice! I love that! Next time, kapag may free time mm. tayo, let's play the game. Well, I've also heard that you love movies. Mm, yes, um, bata pa lang ako, we usually go to movie theaters to watch movies. And malapit lang naman kasi yung mall or yung sinehan sa amin noon nung nasa Valenzuela pa kami. What type of films do you like to watch? My most favorite would probably be musicals, tulad ng Mamma Mia and Fat Albert. I guess um, musicals are one of the things that mold me on how to become creative in the productions during live performances, mapa plus room activity lang yun or or like school activity. Also, I love rom-com. Mapa Filipino man yun or like foreign films na rom-com. Parang yung dalawang yan, musicals and rom-com are my comfort genres na kapag na-stress ako, I usually watch those kind of films. And I also like um, mystery thriller and action film. Pero depende siya sa, sa, sa plot siguro and sa trailer kung gano'n siya naka, naka-relate ako dun sa story. Pero yan. Thank you very much for that answer. So that's the end of our interview. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Thank you so much, Dan. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank so that's it, guys. Having... That's the end of the interview. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below on what are your thoughts on this interview. Bye!